The health department thinks scenes like this amateur video from the Power and Light District, a big crowd with few face masks, are part of the reason the mayor extended the mask requirement until January 15th. We're continuing to evaluate a few things in other areas, both bars and restaurants, capacity issues. Restaurants are just operating on the edge right now, barely getting by, so if we reduce uh, uh, occupancy, then there's it's going to mean more restaurants are going to close. The National Restaurant Association says 78,000 Kansans and Missourians in the field lost their jobs when the shutdown started. And that does not include all the layoffs in the bar business, which health officials think is a problem area now. The decision to extend the mask requirement and the state of emergency into January will probably hurt the restaurants and bars during one of their busiest times. The holiday season is a big season for restaurants, uh, and it's going to hurt this year not being able to to have those kind of events. While bars are still limited to 50% capacity, there are no restrictions at Kansas City, Missouri restaurants now. We don't want to see any rollback to what we had before. That would be devastating.